World Honey Bee Day is tomorrow, and what better way to celebrate the pollinator than by dealing up a dish centered around that sweet nectar? Absolutely. Yes, the world comes together tomorrow to celebrate <laughs> the uh, beautiful little critter, the honeybee, mm -hmm. which oddly enough, you know, pollinates so many different plants and produces so many foods that we eat today. Our honey today comes from Brad Bannister in Chillicothe. It's a local honey. So, and my mom always tells me, you know, what they say about honey is eat it from the region you're in because sometimes there's stuff, you know, where the bees go mm -hmm. into where you can't really digest or have that kind of. So, I, you know, a bit of advice she uh, told me, and of course, I'll remember that for the rest of my life. <laughs> so, we're going to make a nice kind of exit summer and enter into fall. We got peaches from the end of summer. We've got apples going into fall. We're going to make a nice salsa, but we're going to put that over some nice Alaskan salmon. This is a wild caught fish. It's very good for you. It's very good in omega-3 fatty acids. We leave the skin on there because a lot of those good fatty acids are right underneath there. So we're going to go ahead and place that in our skillet. And as that cooks, you can do this on the grill outside or you can do it inside, whichever you like. As that cooks, we'll put together our nice salsa. So with this honey, is gorgeous. And I tell you what, you can use as little or as much as you want. I like a lot of it. I've tasted it. Brad does a fantastic job. He's given me a variety of different ones to flavor. And okay. they're beautiful. So I'm going to put about a half a cup in there. Um, I wrote the recipe with a quarter cup. I started making it, and I thought, oh, my gosh, it has to have more. Yes, so more can. <laughs> so to that, we're going to add some apple cider vinegar. Again, this is a very easy recipe that everyone, I think, will like. It goes together so nice. But we mix that together real quick. And that is a basis for our salsa. To that, now we're going to add our apples. Now, I've got honey crisp apples. It's one of my favorites. We're going to put those in there. If you want a tart apple, you can use those. These are just a yellow cling peach. We're going to add that to it. And then we're going to add our peppers, very high in vitamin C. We've got some orange. We've got some yellow. I'll just reach over there a little Perfect. bit. We've got some yellow. We've got some red. All very good. This, is, this dish, this whole dish, especially honey, is very good uh, in antioxidants and antibacterial yeah. properties. So, and it's very good for your digestive system. So there's so many benefits to honey that I think people just don't remember or, or don't really uh, you know, think of honey that often. Yeah. It, it finds its way into a lot of dishes we eat. To that, we're going to add some red onion to kind of spice things up. We're going to add a little bit of jalapeno pepper. We're going to add just a pinch of garlic. Now, that's optional. If you like garlic, I do. And then we're going to add some <laughs> cilantro to that, a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'll tell you what, this is a nice little salsa that goes great with a lot of different things. It goes terrific with salmon. And you know what we're going to do to that salmon, too, before it goes in the, on the plate is I'm going to glaze a little bit with just a little bit of honey on it too. Ooh, and then wonderful. to top this off, we're getting a little bit of lime juice. So you've got your citrus in there, you got your vinegar, you got all your great flavors. It's very colorful. It presents very well. This is good year round. And again, for the kids, you're sneaking the veggies in there. You're sneaking all this good stuff <laughs> in there so you can get by with it. So absolutely. And that's the way you got to do it sometimes. Just sneak it in. That's right. Mask it with the sweet tasting flavor <laughs> of the honey and you can't go wrong. If they don't know it's coming, that's even better. <laughs> so yes, Wonderful. this is a great little recipe and I think it's a lot of fun. I really do enjoy honey. Uh, I didn't really know that the big world honeybee day was tomorrow until earlier in the week. I really am excited about it. I think it's so much fun. And honeybees, how cute are they? Adorable. <laughs> They're the cutest. Chef Mark, we will try this in just a little bit. So we'll let this uh, uh, salmon here just continue to cook. And then we'll be back with more. But until then, meteorologist Molly Naislin is going to walk you through everything you need to know in her full weather forecast, which comes up in just a few minutes. So stick around for that.